Get ready for Honolulu City Lights. It's set to be turned on officially tomorrow night. Of course, we were lucky enough to get a sneak peek at, what, 5.30 this uh -huh. morning when they turned it on for us. Beautiful. What a treat. Uh, 33 years that tradition continues. Jai live outside Honolulu Hale with more of what we can expect. Good morning, Jai. Good morning, guys. Yeah, you know what? All morning long, we've been telling you, here's what's next. We're talking about Honolulu City Lights. It's going to be happening tomorrow afternoon. The festivity's going to be at about 4 o'clock. The actual program starts at 6. The star, that's the big tree that you see behind me. Now, on that tree, you see some really amazing ornaments. I want to introduce you to the gentleman who is responsible for making those ornaments. Now, we've been talking all morning long about Honolulu City Lights and the fact that it's been going for 33 years. This is Owen Ho. Owen, how long have you been doing this, my friend? About 30. <laughs> so when we talk about veterans of Honolulu City Lights, That's Owen Ho falls right. in there. That's the picture I'm going to see when I look it up. Thank you. Tell me about the ornaments that we see on the tree, because the bottom ornaments are pretty darn big. Are they they're not? big. They're 5 feet, and it goes all the way up to 12 feet. We have to do it in graduated sizes, because the tree is a cone. And in order to get them that size, they're all handmade. Uh, the wreaths that they're mounted on <clears throat> is made out of plywood so oh. we can get the graduated sizes. And I was going to say, when I look at it, there are eight on each level. I do the math. You got 64 wreaths on there? Yes. The theme, because I see a lot of animals, and that's for a reason. It's a zoo out there. And it is a zoo. Now, when we look off to the right and we see Shaka Santa and we see Tutu Mele, when you guys first came up with that, and that was many years ago, many. especially Mrs., she didn't have a necessarily island look, and you changed that, right? Yes, she had a mink coat and uh, no hibiscus, no kukui nut lace, so I helped the city change it to make her more localized. What do you think that uh, you've been with Honolulu City Lights for more than 30 years? Are you amazed at how big it's grown? Yes, yes. Carol Costa and I, like 10 years ago in a golf cart, just saying, we created a monster. <laughs> but it's nice to have adults come up and say, my parents used to bring me here when I was a kid. Makes you feel old but happy. Owen, you did a wonderful job once Thank again. You. Thank you very much. And Honolulu City Lights, the program starts at 6 o'clock tomorrow night. Now, parking is free, but just know there's going to be about 20, 25,000 folks here, so it is going to be busy. That parade route, again, starts all the way down at River and King, and it makes its all the way all the way here to Honolulu Hale. Of course, we will have a recap of it on our evening newscast tomorrow night at 10 o'clock. Ron and Christine.